As the grandeur of the Trooping the Colour event approaches on June 15th, all eyes turn to the British royal family, with a particular focus on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and the mysteries surrounding their absence from the prestigious ceremony. Speculation abounds with experts and commentators weighing in on what might be brewing within House Sussex. One such commentator, Kinsey Schofield, recently shared a tantalising warning during her appearance to the To Die For Daily podcast. Schofield hinted at potential developments surrounding Meghan's American Riviera Orchard brand, suggesting a product launch timed around Trooping the Collar. While we await the event, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw American Riviera Orchard unveil a new product, Schofield mused, sparking a flurry of intrigue and curiosity among royal watchers. However, she also pointed out the odd timing of such a launch amidst ongoing royal health concerns, questioning the lack of tangible products despite previous announcements. Meghan's track record with brand launches, including the ill-fated attempt coinciding with Prince William's Diana Awards, adds layers to the speculation. Despite her aspirations, the previous launch resulted in little more than 50 jars of jam distributed to influencers and celebrities. Adding to the intrigue, Meghan and Harry's exclusion from this year's Trooping the Colour guest list marks the second consecutive year of snubbing from the royal family. Reports confirm their intentional absence, signalling a continuation of tensions within the royal household. Publicist Michael Levine told The Mirror, This continued exclusion of Meghan and Harry from Trooping the Colour is a poignant reflection of their ongoing estrangement from the core of the British monarchy. Their absence for the second year running underscores the deep rifts that persist despite the pageantry and tradition that define the royal family. It's a stark reminder that personal conflicts can ripple through the public spectacle, even in the most revered institutions. The remission from the ceremony confirmed by People magazine signifies a departure from royal tradition, with no balcony appearances at Buckingham Palace. It's a stark contrast to Meghan's past surprise appearances during a royal tenure now seemingly lacking the same difference within the raw context. But what could be occupying the Sussexes' time in lieu of trooping the colour? Speculation runs wild, painting various scenarios of the couple's activities and intentions. Some suggest Meghan might delve into calligraphy classes seeking to refine her skills following criticism over a letter to the King of Nigeria. Others speculate about a potential trip to Nigeria to support imprisoned mothers critical of Meghan's attire with rumours of her bringing along her signature jam products as gifts. There's talk of attending a Nigerian wedding to deflect attention from their absence at the Duke of Westminster's wedding, reportedly avoided due to potential tensions with Prince William. Rumours also hint at property exploration on Banana Island, Nigeria, and auditions for child actors to portray their children, evoking echoes of historical royal dramas. Financially, Meghan might pursue podcast deals with Lemonada, while Harry considers his options for appealing the UK security ruling, perhaps honing his juggling skills in his spare time. In an unexpected twist, Meghan might even plan her version of Trooping the Colour, misunderstanding its meaning as a need to wave flags or adhere to a particular colour scheme, possibly opting for a favoured beige 